Sabzanzi, it's a homeboy. Il flow. Welcome to Hip Hop Live SA. Hello, my sister. Video bomb. <laughs> How are you? I'm cool, thanks. With you? I'm pro. Can you tell my viewers there who you are? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I am the South African Hip Hop Award-winning spoken piece guest. Uh, that's from my show, 16 Bars Reloaded, and I'm an MTN Radio Award nominee for Best Nighttime Show Campus Finalist 2015. Hopefully next year we'll win an MTN. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Spoken Priestess, precious to many of your guys. Yeah. Okay, wait, tell these viewers. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Yeah. But I'm from Pretoria as well. Oh, amazing. Yes. many Hudia, are you? I started radio when I was 17, 2009, yes, yeah. when I first enrolled at TUT, yeah. Okay. So, who inspired you? To do what? <laughs> <laughs> obviously the radio part, you're not the rapper, uh, obviously. So, yeah, 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 true. Um, uh. I, I don't really have an inspiration because radio was not part of the plan. It wasn't actually. I I loved radio, yeah. but I never thought I'd be behind the mic. Mm. I always had these. You know, Nokia had these radio uh, radio apps. Yeah, yeah. Like you can listen to the radio. I always had a Nokia. I remember I had a blue and a black one, and they had headphones all the time. So I was always listening to the radio, mm. listening to High Felt a lot, Takaranda a lot, and then I started listening to Twenty FM. Okay. That's um, it used to be TT Top Stereo back in mm. two thousand and nine. For me to actually get into radio, there was this guy called Jack Frost. He was doing a drive time show. Okay. So he was part of a circle of Jews that I was rolling with. I was their singer. So I was the first lady of overdose oh. entertainment. Yes. I don't know, somewhere in there it got mixed up. He was like, no, you should come to my show, man. You know, Try what I want. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so when I finally finished my trick and I enrolled at TUT, they were having auditions. I went and yeah. I made it. You did. Yeah. yeah. So it was pretty much Jack Frost, but rest in peace, Frosty, wherever you are. Uh, I'm killing it right peace. now. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. That's how radio started. SA, let's go to the break, guys. Peace. Yo, morning, fam. So, uh, <laughs> showcases are a very important part of an artist and branding. So, what are the four most things that you do whilst planning an event for an artist? Um, obviously the, the right venue, first and foremost. Um, I think the, the, the right technical at the venue. So sound, lighting, stage has to be on point. Um, and then what's going to happen? You know, which DJ, which artists, you know, what ha actually happens at the thing. And then after that, it's marketing, marketing, marketing. And I think um, in, a, in a, an age of social media, you can get confused by trending. You know, I'm like, everything trends, you know, but you trended, you're number one in South Africa, but your gig is empty. And it's like, what happened? So you gotta, your basics, whether your basics are SMS, phone call, email, flyer, I don't know, broadcast, you know, whatever, you know, you, I don't believe it. Yo, people, you back from the break. Are you still good? Where did we go? You're not scared? <laughs> no, I'm scared of what? Is it? I'm so not scared I, of anything. Okay, what does hip hop mean to you? Wow. I hate questions like that. Okay, I have to ask them. Hip hop is my life, man. Oh. I am hip hop. I always, you know, when I, when I describe hip hop, when I'm on my show, yeah. I always say that, I have a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a very, I have a very visual mind. I always say that hip hop found some of us in a little dark corner. You know when it's raining, you have no shoes. Um, you know you're waiting for your mom to come fetch you from school. 
and you're freezing, you're hungry, and all your friends are gone home, you know, and it's just you and it's raining. And the only place you can find shelter is like a corner, you know. I feel like hip hop found me there, like in a little corner all by myself. And hip hop was like, yo, what you doing here? I come for you, you know. So, yeah, that's how I always describe hip hop for me, yeah. Talking about hip hop, what, how do you give back to your community? Aye. I don't give no community, no nothing, eh? Ain't nobody entitled to nothing in this world. Oh. Um, oh. No, but it's true. The world owes no one anything. Yeah. Life is for it's the true, takers, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I haven't gotten to a level where I can give back give to my back. community because I am still building myself. Yeah. As much as people think spoken through stairs, trust yeah. me, I'm, I'm a struggling artist just like you. Um, so, but eventually my dream is to go back home and build a library, you know. I want to have a computer literacy school, yeah, yeah. 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 BP, BP, yeah, go very BP, very high school, on the left. Yeah. I want to have like a young, you know, computer literacy school. There's just so much I want to bring uh, to my village, like education. I want to take it back home, but I'm still doing my third year, so I'm not at that level. Oh, yeah. yet, you know, still studying. I'm still studying, and yeah. I want to do my honors and my masters, so it's going to be a very long time before and you know, do something but once I am in a better place because I'm not going to get for honestly I'm a struggling artist you know, mm -hmm. um, you know but once I am in a place where I can give back, give back yeah. there's so much I want to give and you've been around for a while though you've been to five of um, <laughs> hip hop yeah, now. shout out to C-Love yeah. man get well soon bro take us back there for you. um <laughs> It's, you know, it's almost like a lot of these things happen just by chance. So yeah. what I decided, I was moving to Joburg, I was in Pretoria, I was moving to Joburg. Joburg. And I was like, I need, I'm going to leave 20 FM, I'm going to be at UJ. Yeah. What am I going to do with my life? You know, radio, I need to keep radio with me. Yeah. So I hit up UJ FM, I gave them the demo. Uh, they hadn't responded, but I was like, I always used to listen to Sila's Hip Hop Power and I was like, this is nice, you know? And I used to I comment, yeah, I used to yeah, tweet him, yeah. you know? And he would read my comments. So the minute he read my comments online and, and he would like, yo, I spoke in Prisius, asked us a question or something. I'm like, oh, so he knows me, he said my name. Yeah, yeah. So he started reading my comments more and more every week. I'm like, trust me, I'm going in. What I did, it, you won't believe me. I can show you the files. I followed the show, I think for three to five months. Yeah every single minute of the show i wrote down like from 10 to 12 sure. i would say 10 o'clock c live linked three minutes past 10 he played ti featuring who's who whoever whatever song 10 minutes past 10 c That's live cool. speaks to like literally i noted every single minute of the show for five months sure. i packed it into like a, a sheet and i i, I did you know, I arranged it so I had the minutes of what he, what the time was, and then I'd have a time where I'd say, okay, what was happening? So a song, an advert, uh, a link, whatever. On the side, I'd write link, jingle, whatever, how long it was. Like two hours of the show, show yeah. every single Monday for five months. Yo. I took that stuff, I went to, I emailed him, I'm like, yo. There's something I want to add to you. So I was thinking, but what can I bring to the show? Because I can't just say, yeah. I want to be on your show. But I have to have tell, nothing. yeah, you know what I mean? I have to have an entry level. So I was like, let me be your entertainment person. I'll, I'll do your hip hop news or I'll yeah, do your yeah. hip hop research. I just want to be part of the show. Or I'll handle your social and media. And good. Yeah, I was like, I'll handle your social media because I can see you using your own accounts yeah. and you, you, you're reading comments. I'll do that for you. I'll check the comments, you know. So, so I emailed him like, yo, see live, you know, this is my idea. Whatever. He's like, you know what, come through to 5 FM, sneak me, I'll see that you. Yeah, I was like, ha, huh? yes, yeah, yeah. That day, nah? yeah. I remember I was living in Brixton. I walked. To five of them, which is like Brixton to SABC Red Media Park. If you guys live in Oakland Park, you know the distance. I walked. It was around six. I walked there. I didn't know how I was gonna get back home. Yeah. Because the show is at ten and it ends at twelve. Yeah. But I was like, let me just go. If it means I'm gonna sleep at the SABC, I'll sit there until the sun comes up. It's fine. Sea Life said he was coming at around eight or something. Sea Life is not coming. Did I not panic? I'm sitting there in the waiting area at the SABC. Generations is playing. I'm like, Generations is on. Move on. I'm like, oh my God, he's not coming. coming. He stood me up. I'm here. <laughs> so, but I was like, no, but there's no way he won't come. I mean, his show is at 10. So obviously 10, yeah. he should be here by 10. 
as you guys come strolling in. Do, 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 do. So I was like, yo, I'm like, see, like, he's like, oh, oh yeah, precious, yeah, yeah, come through, come through. We go into the studio. Um, he's like, so, based, so what's going on? What are what you, plan, what are you no. telling me? What are you saying? I'm like, no. I whipped up my papers. I was like, look, I've been following the show for the past five Plus months. He couldn't believe it. He's like, what? Dude, this is this is crazy. Like, no one does it. I was like, I've been following the show for five months, um, you know, so I, I know your show, but I, I want to add something. Can I be your entertainment? You know, can I be part of the show? I'll do your entertainment news. I'll do your, 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 your Twitter handle. I'll handle your social media, whatever. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, no problem, no doubt. He put on the mic, he was like, yo, see, like, yeah, hip hop nice. what's happening? Yo, it's crazy. You won't believe what's happening right now. Spoken Priest says, she's always tweeting us right now. She's in studio. Switches on mic. Does it? Hi, South Africa. And the race is history. Ish, you hear that, guys? The rest is history. <laughs> you can't rap. always say the rest is history. You can't rap. Freestyle, I wish I could rap. I actually wrote like a 16 bar. Yeah. You know, when yeah. um, Kuli, Kuli and, and Skiro and they were recording in, in, in yeah. uh, Beat Machine's you know, studio. Curious. I was like, I will not be left behind. I'm like, I'm writing a 16. I wrote it down. It was dope. Like, I had okay. nice punchlines. Wait, punch wait, wait, wait. Before you rap the show, guys. No, but I'm not gonna rap. Wait, why, why not? Because I don't remember the 16. Is it? No. So where can people can catch you? Twitter, Facebook, what's up? Spoken Priestess yeah. on Twitter, on Instagram, Spoken Priestess. Yeah. Um, I can't rap, but I can rap. I'm a poet. That's okay. where Spoken Priestess comes okay. from. Okay. Facebook, Spoken Priestess, Precious. Um, yeah. Email my show, 16 bars reloaded at gmail.com. Ilflo underscore SA Twitter. Ah! <laughs> Hip Hop Live SA Facebook. Plug. Uh, Limshakes Live at gmail.com. Oh, before you wrap the show, guys. Ish, freestyle here, na, I can't do like many chairs in the background. I don't know, give me a word. I can't rap, so give me a word that I can recite to. Bad. Bad. B A D. Bad. Please. Are you serious? I'm serious. Give me a better word. Uh, <laughs> Hip Hop. Ah, oh, shizer, you just had to go hip hop. Okay. Hip hop. <clears throat> is it common or is it the roots that said hip hop be the love of my life? And like I said, in a dark corner, you found me sitting, sinking, falling deeply, drowning, crying, fearing hearing, fighting for that next breath, that next gleam of hope. And hip hop, you said to me, but why for art thou somber? Getting up, come with me. And I said, but hip hop, who are you? You look familiar almost. As though a dream, a dream I saw, a dream I heard, a dream I overheard, a dream I peeped into, but was not really sure if it was my inception or a reality or a vision. So, hip hop, what is this? Hip hop, who are you? Hip hop, is that my reflection? Hip hop, you are me. Wait, hip hop, I know you. You sound like my heartbeat. That's right, I knew I recognized that pulse. Hip hop, you're the love of my life. Yo, I'm in flow. Working for this. We are out. Peace.